Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, just a quick tip video on GQRX, one of my favorite SDR softwares. Uh, it's the software front end for your SDR receiver, whatever it may be. GQRX is an open source uh, free SDR program. Uh, it's available, I think, for the other platforms, but I'm using it on Linux. Um, I like it. It's a real simple program, easy to work with. And since I picked up the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery, uh, I've been using it quite a bit, and I stumbled upon something that I think I might have known was in there before, but I couldn't remember, uh, that I thought was really useful, and perhaps I'd talk about it in a video. Uh, packet radio has been around for decades. Usually on two meters, it's FM, it's 1200 baud, and it's used to send packets of text. Uh, packet digipeters exist, uh, and mailboxes used to exist, and people would actually send messages that would then get relayed across the packet data network to their destination. It was sort of an early form of uh, email over radio. Pretty neat stuff. Um, nowadays, it's often used for APRS, the Automatic Position Reporting System, where your radio can report your position from GPS, uh, where you can then search on a map and see where somebody's at, uh, and for various other uses as well. Um, back in Quartzite, during Quartzfest, we had an occasional problem where somebody would accidentally put their HT or radio into APRS mode on our comm channel, on the, the 146.55 simplex I think we were using at Quartzfest, and uh, suddenly you'd get packet bursts coming through. And uh, it, it would have been nice to be able to quickly and easily decode those packet bursts so we could then let the whoever it is know by their call sign, call them and tell them, hey, you know, you're, you're doing this. And, and because they probably didn't know. Uh, so, yeah, decoding packet is, uh, is kind of interesting. In the past, I've done that with multiple programs, piping the audio from the receiver software through to something like Multimon, which is a multiple mode decoding program. In fact, I think I did a video on decoding Poxag with it. Uh, but GQRX actually has a built-in AFSK uh, 1200 decoder, which is the, the mode that packet radio is usually modulated with, built right into the program. So uh, let's go to the computer and I'll show you where that is and how it works. Here we are in GQRX, my current favorite SDR software. And I have the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery SDR radio hooked up and connected to my Slim Jim antenna for two meters out on the outside of the RV pictured here. I really like the Slim Jim. It's a great antenna, very sensitive. And it's going to have to be because the nearest APRS uh, packet digipeter that I have found is in Las Vegas, some 91 miles away. So hopefully we'll be able to pick them up. They are on 144.39, and we will go ahead and hit play to start receiving it. Oh, there it was right away. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see the uh, signal a bit clearer. And uh, what we're going to be hearing here are uh, packet radio data bursts, uh, and I want to decode those. I want to decode those. And there was another one. So, in the past, I would have used some other software and tricky pipes for the audio to pipe the audio from GQRX to something like Multimon. And yeah, um, not that easy to do. Well, built right into GQRX is a decoder. If we go up here to the, if we go up here to the tools menu and we go down here, a AFSK 1200 decoder. And that is going to decode 1200 baud AFSK signals, which is what packet uses. So now that we've opened that, we just wait, and as soon as we hear another packet come through, it should decode the text for us. Let's wait. There we go. We decoded a packet. We get a timestamp here. Uh, FM. I assume that... Uh, oh no, that's the, the packet. This is uh, this guy sending a packet to that guy via W7RBV, wide one, Vegas zero, 
it's very weak. We're uh, barely getting some, some information. But anyway, uh, as you can see, it decoded the packet just fine. I'm not sure what the gobbledygook down here is, although the signals are pretty weak, so we might not be getting a good, clean copy. But there you go. Uh, we can do decoding of packet data right here in GQRX. I wish I was in a more active area. <laughs> There's just not that much traffic on this Digipeter, but uh, as you can see, it definitely works. No extra software needed. By the way, there is one bug in GQRX. Yeah, signals are too weak. It just didn't decode that one either. There is one bug in GQRX. If you try to close this window, um, it will crash the software. What you need to do is use this X here to close the decoder window. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I think, I don't know if that bug's been reported. I might report it myself, but uh, use this X to close the window. Of course, right after I stopped recording, the activity picked right up and uh, decoded several more packets, and I thought that I would just add this little extra bit on because it's kind of interesting to see um, in this first packet here from K7GIL-1 to Beacon 0 via Vegas 0, N7ZEV, I guess is the reporting station, um, here we have what looks to be... Uh, map coordinates. Um, and an additional message packet can be included. So he's saying here that he's uh, in Victorville, California, I think. Uh, there was another one in here. Where is it? Uh, here we go. The uh, message in uh, this one coming from, um, I think it's N6LXX here. Uh, the message, the, the little text packet at the end of it says, uh, George and Chris are on the road again. <laughs> so the, uh, the APRS packets can include little short text messages. Um, this guy here, which I guess is uh, from N7ZEV, his text message is, uh, wait, where does it start? right after that so it would be this low pot C slash Frank and an email address <laughs> so yeah interesting stuff the uh, packets can include all kinds of extra information there's some more map coordinates right here I'm pretty sure uh, so yeah a little bit more was decoded I just had to start the recorder again and just capture this little segment to show you some of that additional data pretty interesting stuff and of course, it will decode uh, any type of packet information. If you were just on a packet uh, 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 packet radio node, like a mailbox, you'd see all of the data going back and forth and so on and so forth. So there you go. Uh, just a quick tip on decoding packet radio using GQRX and your favorite SDR hardware. A neat little feature built right in that some of you might not have been aware of. And uh, hopefully you found that useful and interesting, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.